to get JP to more events. That's true. Shout out to young Solomar. That ambitious, outgoing friend that he needs. Oh, and Mobile League going Mewtwo what? instead. Actually, I love this pick. Because, you know, Falcon, he's very susceptible to really just off get stage. destroyed off stage. Yeah. And uh, now he's making sure he can go ahead and recover. You know, get some nice conversions with the DLC. Oh my god. Mewtwo's forward air, honestly, might be the most underrated move in this game. Right? Underrated? Underrated. I think everyone knows what that forward air does. It's ridiculous, though, man. It combos, it kills. It spaces. It does everything it's for fast. you. It, it's like it's not that hard to land. It combos into itself like three times. <laughs> it, Who made this? All right, you know, JP not doing too bad. He, I, I saw him literally walk up and try to pocket. Uh, it. All right, Blue Boy being very patient, allowing JP to land with all these nares, but immediately answering him with the down tilt. Oh my god. JP only gets triple turnips, by the way. Somebody you'll come to recognize as you watch this player play more, man. You don't Chops even need those down. triple turnips. Playing out the axe, getting that stock. Moon Boy trying to go in, but unfortunately not getting anything out of it. Uh, JP's just playing phenomenal. Moon Boy's being, being a little, spacing out. A little over aggressive right now, man. It's, uh, he wants to stock, he wants to get in. But this isn't the way you have to play the villager matchup. Definitely not. I mean, you have so many great tools against villager that you can kind of just sit behind space out with down tilt so you can just reverse it with the, uh, any of the slip shots or side B. Play a little slower, Mo uh, Moon Boy. Yeah. I mean, at first, Moon Boy was sitting there and just throwing out uh, the side B to reflect the Void Rocket. Uh, he's kind of abandoned that sense. He also doesn't need to go all the way up there and try to catch the landing. Mewtwo covers so much ground so quickly, you can really snipe out a lot of villagers' landings. Okay, Mubo is there. super hungry for this grab yep. at the moment. Oh my god. Right. No, good stuff from JP, not giving him the air dodge, getting in there, getting a nice snare. Swipe, not enough to kill though. Alright, JP coming out with the slingshots and still just denying Moon Boy this grab. Oh, he's watering. Trees out. Uh-oh. And that's going to be it. JP with the clean two-stock. No, and that was an unfortunate angle right there for Moon Boy. Being underneath the stage with no jump, uh, there's not a lot of Mewtwo to do. Oh, and Coach Smiley coming out the woodworks, man. I mean, hey, he means Mewtwo. He's definitely like, yo, dog. Sit down, down tilt, and shadow ball. What you doing trying to go in? Just say chill, man. You don't need to like give him like a half hour pep talk. <laughs> hey, come on, they, chill they, out. Thirty Slow seconds. Down. Thirty seconds of coaching is allowed. That's true. What do you J think? And JP's just sitting there like, yo, well, my body's you saying to him right now. All right, so we got a colored counterfeit coming in. You know, uh, JP he's sitting back and Moon Boy running it back. Three, yep. two, one. Go! Next game. Back to Smash Bros. 2. Oh, there is no color change. Okay. I mean, JP was playing very well in that last game. Keeping up with the slingshot, spacing out very, just very, very well. And just a lot of the mix-ups he had from the Lloyd Rocket, even when Moon Boy did go for the side beat to reflect it, it didn't even matter. Every time he does a turn up, it's three. Every single time. I'm telling you, look at it's it. It's another three. Every single time he's thrown out three. Three out of three so far. This man's insane. I know alright, Evo, we're going we're going to the casinos with JP. That's oh we I have know. to. Don't don't go with Nova though. He will lose you a hundred dollars. Well, I would never go that with is a, that is a story for another day, but you know, pre warning. He got another three! Alright, let's go, JP. <laughs> All right, Moon Boy playing a lot more patient this time around, but even with that patience, now JP is going to go in. JP definitely one more aggressive villager player as you'll ever see. He studies Renai religiously as well. Something to know. I mean, that's not to say that he is Renai, but I mean, coming down with the axe looking like Renai right now. No, and I Another three. <laughs> this man cannot be stopped. Imagine if Renai had the luck that JP had with turnups. It'd be unbeatable. That's not right. 
All right, another down tilt coming out into the up air. But one thing I do love about JP is that he has had the awareness out of each of the side B that has connected, immediately going for the axe and getting the stock. Fireworks. All right, Aaron knocking him back off. And JP kind of just running away with it at the moment. Blue Boy looking lost. He's trying to chop him down right now, I guarantee it. Right before the tree goes away. Nope. Fireworks. Tree's back. He's just trying to chop him down at this point. Which I believe will kill at any point in the stage right now. This rage and this percent. How light Mewtwo is. But up throw is going to be doing it. Uh, oh boy, finally getting himself a stock. I mean, with the movement that JP is displaying, the boy's having such trouble even just trying to get a read on him. I've seen him go off for a lot of these smash attacks, expecting a roll or expecting JP to kind of come up with some type of offensive option. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter because Nair and, you know, these turnips are definitely beating everything that Blue Boy's trying to throw out. Oh, oh my goodness. Dare? That was such a call out. Rolling the swipe. Boom Boy's back in this game all of a sudden. Oh, very good slingshot. Really helping JP if that did not hit Boom Boy. He definitely probably would have got the fight. But ladies and gentlemen, we do have a game right oh now. Oh my god, that was a the, soft the, hit the triple. The one time. <laughs> a soft hit triple. Boom Boy if I were him, dude, if I were JP, I'd just be throwing up airs and down airs. <laughs> oh no. He had the read. That's going to take it. Smiley pounding his fist right behind, saying, good job, boom boy. Taking my advice. Yeah. I mean, it was looking pretty grim off that first thought going into the second. But hey, boom boy dug deep, sat there, clutched it out. Survival. All right, if you're JP, what you got to do to uh, regain your confidence right now? What is it? Just got to pick your stage, go in the light light. Honestly, I'd say JP needs to kind of mix up the options because there at the end, he was so hungry just trying to get the axe. I'd love to see him just kind of stay with the game that he's been doing the whole time. Get all of these slingshots, and he'll find that right opening. Aggressive opening comes from JP to start this match. Already 55 damage, man. Who said Villager was camping? Another triple turn. Another he, he, one. He had two in a row. Man. Went up tilt so close to taking that stock, and JP still hasn't got touched. And as I say that, uh, you know, Moonboy getting himself that nice up tilt. JP, buy me some lottery tickets, man. Look at this. He keeps getting nothing but threes, dude. I'm telling you. Uh, JP trying to stall his momentum, but you know, Moonboy was having none of it. Yeah, Moonboy able to tag on a quick 60 damage. Man. The one time he didn't get a triple. Yo, these perfect shields coming out from both of these players. That's refusing to get hit. Oh, did he just pocket the reversal? Oh, he, got, he got the Shadow Ball now. No, he didn't get it. It ended up hitting the uh, Light Last stage off okay. the tilt. Gotcha. No, that was a really nice attempt right there coming from Moonboy. But uh, again, the tilt coming in and he's messing up that trumpet now. There we go, JP taking stock. Up air, classic right there coming from YouTube. <laughs> and up smash, man. just taking it. No, that was just the hitbox. It clanked out. Oh, it did. Yeah. Because I've seen some uh, some sick, nasty Twitter stuff recently of that up smash just clanking with everything. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Man. Uh, JP Morrison to get back on his face, but going for that forward smash. Not enough though. Yeah, it was super close. All right, JP's luck has run out. I've seen three single turnups in a row now. And that's going to seal the stock. Moon boy. Okay, can we please talk about that fair? Just going through all of the water and then getting that. Yep. <laughs> I mean, like you said, Andy, Sick game it's, it's underrated, apparently. Very underrated, man. I'm telling you, it's like a bonkers move. That's why I'm just trying to state. This move is oh, absolutely no. ridiculous. Ooh, great tech right there. Getting us up back onto stage. 
good at edge guarding. Yeah, no, JB took a lot of percent, but hey, at least he does have the stock. Now he's going back on the offensive. Came close, man. That was a scary situation for Moonboy. Definitely could have broken shield right there. Oh, and we're out. No, the board smash. Not gonna take the stock. JB trying to get himself back onto the stage. This is a very scary situation for both of these players. Oh, and as no. I say that, JP jumping up off the ledge, getting caught by the up smash. This Mewtwo pick from Moonboy, man, it actually worked out for him. First time I've ever seen him play Mewtwo. First time ever. 